Okay, so Rewild Media in association with Well Eyes Therapy. So we're with the lady of the moment. Everyone's talking about you, Liv Hussey. Nice to see you, as always. Of course, it's nice to see you as well, my little best friend. Well, you haven't spoken to me for about six weeks. What's going on? You've just been ig- ignoring me. I've been busy. <laughs> Never a shock. Well, listen, not long, five weeks to go, debut time. I can't wait, I'm really excited now. I just can't wait for the 16th of December, so yeah. 16th of December? Christmas? What are you doing? September. September, yeah, my head's fell off though. Yeah, um, 16th of September, yeah, so I can't wait to get that done and dusted. And you're fighting over in Liverpool, of course, on uh, Paul Smith and Tom Stalker show. Yeah, over in Liverpool at Liverpool Olympia, so that'll be a good night. Obviously, I've heard that, the I think they've done one or two shows before, they're like a newly like organisation, aren't they? So it's supposed to be a good show and I can't wait to perform on it. And have you sold quite a few tickets? Sold a few, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> so you might be going on holiday about the day after then, knowing you. Actually, four days after a flight to Benidorm. <laughs> Benidorm. Jesus Christ. Well, listen, on a serious note, yeah. we've been watching your training today. You're not coming on. How are you finding the change from the amateur, you know, uh, you know, elite amateur, I should say, style into the professional side? Yeah, I, I mean, more, more so the last few weeks have felt like a difference in my power and obviously not switching styles because I'll never switch my style, but working on different styles, different different ways and, and stuff and in my sparring and that. So it's more the last few weeks have seen that that difference within my boxing ability and stuff. It's been it's been it's been tough to transition going from like an amateur style to to kind of slowing things down. But obviously, as the women still only do two minute rounds, it's still at quite a high pace as well. So it's obviously getting it all in together. And but yeah, it's going good. I'm enjoying it. We had a little chat with Terry. Actually, we've spoken to everybody about you. Um, we had a chat with Terry, and he says the biggest problem he's going to have with you is holding you back. Yeah, of course. It's going to be hard to hold me back. I'll fight every week if I could, but I just want to, to be fair as well, I kind of want to, I don't want to take it slow, but I want to do the, take the right journey within, me, within this career. So I wouldn't rush myself, but it will be hard to hold me back, especially when them titles come, come across. And let's not talk about titles yet, young lady. Let's th- get four or five fights out of the way first. Um, you know yourself as well from being an elite amateur, gold medal in the Commonwealth Games, I believe. Europeans, Europeans yeah. sorry. I always get you and Lisa Whiteside, I get you mixed up. <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason. Um, I know I'm about 20 kilo heavier than <laughs> well, I don't know, Lisa's retired now, so she could probably have a good spa with you right now. She'll kill me for that. Um, it, it, I've forgotten completely what I was going to say to you now. But listen, it, it must be... I don't know, it's been a frustrating time, hasn't it? Because I know you were going to possibly box on a slightly bigger platform and then didn't happen. This year, with all the boxers in your position, it's been a tough year with that sort of thing, hasn't it? Yeah, well, to be fair, I've kind of learned in this game as well to not to not take what people say like and think that it's going to gonna pull off. It's, it's, a, it's a mad game, to be fair, but like I said, I'm happy to be making my debut on. It's not a small hall show, well, that's what they call them, but it's still a, a good platform to, to make my debut on. It's local. I've got all my family there and stuff like that, so it, I couldn't ask for any better, really. And I'm happy to be making my debut at the Liverpool Olympia. Yeah, I mean, it's what, about 1,500 people in there and it's full? Yeah, exactly, and I've probably sold about a good, well, I don't know how much exactly, but a fair few tickets, so I'll have a good following, obviously, from St. Helens following me and supporting me on the night. Now, listen, I might be there on the night, because we've got to have a little chat about this. I know. But if I am there, I want exclusivity on your first interview as a winning professional, if that's how it goes. Of course, like we said, all access, all the passes, you know what I mean? Backstage the law, you'll be there. Backstage in, the, in that place, it's like the kitchen, mate. <laughs> There's no backstage out there. All right, behind the coons. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're going all out here, aren't you, Livassi? Yeah, yeah, of course, I want you there, to be honest, you know, you're me, me main man. Now listen, you're not going to be on your own. You've got Mr. Edo fighting the same same night as well. He's been out globe trotting and, and out into Florida and doing God knows what with uh, Mr. Jazza Dickens. But um, it'd be good for John to get back out and a friendly face on the show must help. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, it's good for me as well with being, being my first camp as a professional fighter. I'm not doing it alone. I've, I've got two. Obviously, Leon's looking to be out at the end of September. So I'm doing it along with two other lads who are on my stable who are going through like towards the end, cutting weight and... You know what I mean? So it, I'm, I feel like lucky in that way of things to be having, be able to go at free camp with two other people. But obviously it's good to have him on the show as well. Obviously he's my camp mate and we'll support each other on the night. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What weight category are you going to box at? Uh, well to weight. So you're going to be dangerous. Dangerous, powerful. <laughs> I 
I'll tell you what. Now, listen, we've been watching your social media, right? And we give you a little bit of stick because you do quite well on your social media, don't you? And like today, you're colour coordinated with these hooker shoes. Now, when I say hooker shoes, I don't mean hooker shoes. They're called hooker or hooker and socks. And Terry had the same. What's going on? These hawkers, yeah, they're the best shoes. Get on them. Buy some. Do you want me to buy you some? No, but you're not getting them for nothing. Yeah, but... So come on, get me some for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a one-off thing, and then, obviously, it's like you can get a, get you a discount if you want. A discount? Listen, you're taking a mick now. Yeah, but I'm not colour-coordinated. I didn't go in my wardrobe and go, right, black shorts, yeah, my shoes have got a bit of, like, aluminous yellow on, so is my jacket. Like, I didn't plan it like that. That's complete tosh, and you know it. I didn't. I didn't. Come on. Right, well, listen, we'll stop mucking about now, right? But on a serious note, it's good to see you finally sort of in that camp, getting used to your first time, learning. We watched the training session, as I say, today. You're in there with Leon as well, which is great experience. And it's just nice to see you actually looking happy in a gym. And Terry said, you know, you're making really good progress. And you've got that little look in your face that says, actually, this is serious time now, and it's nice to see. Yeah, of course, obviously... Jokes aside and stuff like that, I'm, 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 I'm very focused now and, and I'm putting everything into my training and I obviously can't wait to obviously show what I've learned and developed in the last few weeks. So, well, it'll be like six weeks over the camp, but yeah, I'm excited and I've got that, I've got that ego with me now to just switch off and fully focus on my training and stuff. So yeah, I'm excited and I'm improving every day. And Anthony Joshua, do you think he's going to uh, put a stamp on his, on his next fight? I feel he seems very, very focused, very angry, you know. I don't know why, I was watching the face off before as well and I just, I've always liked him, you know, a lot of people have given him a lot of stick lately maybe on his perform last performance and stuff but he's someone I looked up to coming up the amateur ranks, training up in GB, he was a, no one was saying what they were saying now a good few years ago, they was, they was all like, oh Anthony Joshua, you know, so I've always, I've always liked him and I do hope he does the job tomorrow and, and does it in style, yeah, and gets himself back, his name back out there and a good fight at the, after that, so yeah. The, the ring where he won the Olympics on is actually in the Team GB training room, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. We, we used to, well, still learn now. We still, well, we, I did train in it. So, yeah, it's mad. And like I said, he was he was very well looked up to at one point And a lot of people kind of took a step away from him and don't support him. Like they used to, like I said, I'll always support him. And I hope he does the job and gets a big fight after this one. That's good to hear. And, uh, we, you know, we just hope everybody gets out of the ring and is, is fit and well. That's all we want to say. Now, listen. Not long to go, six weeks, five weeks in fact now. Um, what's the last week of your camp going to be like, do you think? Is it just going to be running down, you know, getting yourself just, just ticking over and the nerves going to kick in, do you think? Yeah, well, to be fair, you know what I'm like with my mum and stuff and she's actually away. She flies back the day away in on the night. So I won't see my mum from the 2nd of September, uh, sorry, the 5th of September till I'm walking out into the ring. So I feel like... In a way, it's a good thing because me and him are like best mates, but I'm going to be in like a focused mindset. Obviously, coming down in weight, I'm going to have like my own space. So, obviously, yeah, just tapering down that last week and just obviously, I say, surrounding myself with good people. My mum's obviously away, but I mean, like, just positive people and who we can and, and good good vibes and stuff. And just, just having a, a chill week, yeah, and seeing a little bit of sharpening and stuff like that. Well, like I say, I'm all new to this game, so I might end up killing a bag for 10 rounds, you don't know. <laughs> no, but yeah. Just a little tapered week and looking forward to the night, yeah. I've got one more question for you. Are oh, the St. Helens madheads, the football girls, are they coming? Yeah, they are. They're all coming, yeah. They'll be there with the little flag. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, yeah, they'll be there. They've, there's a few, obviously, you can't make it, but there's a, I think there's about 10 of them coming, so that'll be good. And obviously, I've got my best mate coming as well. Obviously, can't wait to just have the good people there. Listen, if I only sold 10 tickets, I won't be bothered. As long as it's people who are close to me and want me to do well in my career. Do you know, I don't want any fakeness people who, oh, she's, she's fighting now, let's, let's talk to her, let's go. I'm not bothered. I've got the right people there and obviously just need to perform on the night. i tell you what, it's like the time, amount of time we've known you, you've changed completely into a professional person. You know how to deal with the media, your training looks great. I've got a funny feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of you very, very quickly. So, well done so far. It's nice to see you over here. I'm sorry I've given you a bit of stick about your coordinated socks and shoes as per normal. Um, but we wish you well and we'll see you on the night, hopefully. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Lovely to see you as well. <laughs> nice one, mate. See you later. Cheers.